Soft water is water in its pure and natural form, free from minerals. Keep in mind that by definition, soft water does not mean it comes from a water softener. Water turns hard as it moves through the ground or rocks on its way to the source and picks up minerals such as limestone, calcium, and magnesium along the way. Water treatment equipment can turn hard water back into soft water by removing the minerals. Water softeners reduce the hardness of the water, which reduces straining and scaling. It also means you need less soap and detergent for cleaning. Reduced scaling translates to energy savings when heating water. They exchange the hardness minerals such as calcium for softer minerals such as sodium. Water softeners that use salt makes the water suitable for drinking and cooking. This means you need a separate untreated cold water supply for those purposes. This is the formula to properly size your water softener. It's the number of people in the house times the number of gallons of water consumption per person times grains per gallon and this will equal the number of grains to be removed. For number of gallons consumed per person, you can use 75 gallons, which is the national average. And for grains per gallon, you can call your municipality if you use city water, or purchase a water test kit if you use well water. Grains per gallon is a measure of how much calcium and magnesium is dissolved in your water. Here's an example. There's four people living in my house, times 75 gallons of water consumed per person, which is the average, times the grains per gallon in my area, which is 10, which equals 3,000 grains to be removed daily. Then you have to look at this chart to find out the right softener capacity. Most four-person homes use a 32,000 grain unit. I calculated 3,000 grains to be removed, therefore I need a 24,000 grain capacity water softener. The rate of capacity of a softener is the maximum number of grains of water hardness the unit can remove prior to regeneration. 